Breaking news. Huawei's two major breakthroughs, how did they do it? Huawei's self-developed Sangjie programming language is about to be open-sourced globally. Huawei's Harmony OS 6.0 successfully developed. Huawei's two major breakthroughs, how did they do it? Can China also create a programming language? Can you imagine? Not long ago, the global tech world was completely ignited by two pieces of news from Huawei, shaking it as if the sky was about to turn upside down. One was that Huawei's self-developed Tsangjie programming language had finished its public beta and would be open-sourced globally next month. The other was the successful development of the homegrown Harmony OS 6.0, achieving unprecedented ubiquitous connectivity for all things. These two announcements, like two giant bombs, set off a huge wave in the tech field. Are you also curious about how Huawei managed to achieve all this? Don't worry, let's delve into it. In today's digital age, programming languages are like the common language of the internet, the foundation upon which all software, applications, and even operating systems are built. For the past 30 years, whether it's the phone in our pocket, the computer on our desk, or various smart devices, their operating systems and applications have almost exclusively been written using Western programming languages. Numerous tech powerhouses around the world, from various European countries to Russia, from Japan to South Korea, all wanted to break America's monopoly in the field of programming languages and develop their own widely usable programming languages. However, without exception, they all failed. But this year, Huawei did it. The birth of Huawei's Tsangjie programming language marks the first time China has its own programming language recognized by global developers. This is a groundbreaking and great achievement. You might ask, how important is this programming language? To put it simply, it's like laying the foundation when building a house, a towering building rises from the ground, and without a solid foundation, everything is empty talk. In the Internet era, programming language is the most core and fundamental support for global technological development, a key element that every country cannot bypass when developing technology. Since the comprehensive technological blockade imposed on Huawei by Western countries in 2019, to prevent being choked in programming languages and underlying Internet technologies, Huawei resolutely launched the Tsangjie project, a challenging project to develop its own programming language. This endeavor, regarded by the industry as an impossible mission, was as difficult as climbing Mount Everest in the technical field. Unlike chip manufacturing, the semiconductor industry at least has Moore's law guiding the direction of technological evolution, and technological breakthroughs by companies like TSMC and ASML have provided a traceable path for the industry, where international supply chain collaboration can still promote technological iteration to some extent. However, programming language development is a lonely expedition with no precedence. From a technical perspective, it requires the research and development team to be proficient in underlying computing models such as Turing machines and automata theory, as well as mastering cutting-edge academic achievements like formal semantics and typed system design. Syntax design must balance the usage habits of human developers with machine execution efficiency and also consider technology development trends for the next decade. Compiler development requires breakthroughs in instruction set optimization, memory management, code generation, and other aspects, even a slight misstep can lead to performance degradation. The more arduous challenge lies in ecosystem construction. The value of a programming language is highly dependent on the developer community, toolchain support, and application ecosystem. Java's success is backed by Oracle's decades of ecosystem building. Python's rise benefited from the massive number of third-party libraries contributed by its open-source community. Huawei needs to start from scratch to attract developers to use the Tsangjie language, persuade enterprises to migrate their core businesses to the new platform, and also establish a comprehensive documentation system, ID tools, and developer support system.
This is not only a technical battle but also an ecosystem defense battle, where every line of code written carries the mission of breaking international technological monopolies. To achieve this goal, Huawei spared no expense. They gathered thousands of top tech talents from around the world, invested massive human and financial resources annually, and spent a full six years to bring the Tsangjie programming language into existence. This persistence and investment demonstrate Huawei's determination and boldness. In the field of programming languages, European and American countries have long dominated. Taking the United States as an example, mainstream programming languages such as C, C++, Java, and Python were all born in the U.S. These languages, with their first mover advantage, have built vast developer communities and rich application ecosystems. For instance, the Java language, since its release in 1995, has been widely used in enterprise application development, Android application development, and many other fields, with billions of devices globally running applications developed based on Java. Behind this is the contribution of countless developers and the support of major tech companies, forming an extremely stable ecosystem. Europe also has deep roots in programming languages, such as the Ada language, initially initiated by the U.S. Department of Defense but widely used and developed in Europe, especially in aerospace, defense, and other fields with extremely high safety requirements. The success of these programming languages is not only a victory of technology but also a victory for the entire tech industry ecosystem behind them. In contrast, the development journey of Huawei's Tsangjie programming language was full of hardships. But with its strong technical capabilities and persistent investment in R&D, Huawei broke this long-standing dominance by Europe and America. The Tsangjie programming language features native intelligence, inherent all-scenario capabilities, high performance, and strong security. These characteristics make it stand out among many programming languages. For example, in terms of native intelligence, it embeds an agent DSL programming framework, realizing the organic integration of natural language and programming language, making the development of intelligent applications simpler and more efficient. In terms of inherent all-scenario capabilities, it provides a lightweight and scalable runtime environment, adopting a modular layered design, allowing it to run smoothly even on devices with limited memory. This series of innovative features allows global developers to see Huawei's innovative strength and huge potential in the field of programming languages, and has also won a key round for China in global technological competition. This is not only a victory for Huawei but also a source of pride for China's tech community, injecting powerful momentum into the development of China's tech industry in the field of basic software. It proves to the world that China's independent innovation capability in the tech field has reached a new height, and it is expected to achieve breakthroughs in more core technology fields and break international monopolies in the future. Harmony OS 6.0, a leap forward in ubiquitous connectivity. Having discussed the Tsangjie programming language, let's now look at the shock brought by Huawei's Harmony OS 6.0. The new Harmony OS 6.0 can be described as a leapfrog evolution. It is no longer limited to smartphones but can be directly integrated into various electronic devices such as cars and drones, truly achieving the ultimate goal of ubiquitous connectivity. This achievement even surpasses what tech giants like Apple's iOS and Google's Android can offer. From market data, in just the past eight months, the number of registered Harmony OS developers globally has surged by approximately 1.25 million a growth rate that has broken world records. More and more tech professionals are optimistic about the Harmony OS operating system, and its global standing is becoming increasingly solid, deeply loved by developers worldwide. Initially, when the first generation of Harmony OS was released, it was almost ignored globally, but who would have thought that in just a few years, it would grow into an operating system capable of standing shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with iOS and Android? 
This is the result of Huawei's continuous investment in R&D and constant optimization and improvement over the years. In the field of operating systems, Europe and America have also long held a dominant position. The Windows system has long dominated the personal computer market, with a market share once exceeding 80%. With its broad software compatibility and user-friendly interface, Windows has become the most widely used operating system for global office and personal use. Apple's iOS system, on the other hand, stands out in the high-end smartphone market with its smooth user experience, strict application review mechanisms, and strong ecosystem, attracting a large number of loyal users. Google's Android system, leveraging its open-source strategy, quickly spread globally in the smartphone market, with a market share of over 70%, covering various phone brands from high-end to low-end. The success of these operating systems benefits from the powerful tech companies behind them, vast developer communities, and long-term accumulated technical advantages. Huawei's Harmony OS faced immense competitive pressure from its inception, but it took a different path, focusing on ubiquitous connectivity as its core goal to build an all-scenario intelligent ecosystem. Harmony OS uses distributed technology, allowing different devices to achieve seamless connection and collaborative work. For example, users can easily cast videos from their phones to a smart TV to continue watching, or control smart home appliances with their watch. This cross-device collaborative experience brings unprecedented convenience to users. In the smart car field, Harmony OS collaborates with car manufacturers to create intelligent cockpits, enabling interconnectedness between vehicles and mobile phones, smart homes, and other devices, enhancing the driving experience. By continuously improving system functions, optimizing user experience, and launching a series of developer incentive policies, Harmony OS has gradually attracted more and more developers to join, building its own application ecosystem. Today, Harmony OS is widely used globally, not only achieving good user on Huawei's own products but also collaborating with numerous third-party manufacturers to expand application scenarios. Its success has broken the long-standing monopoly of European and American operating systems in the global market, providing more choices for global users and securing a place for China's tech industry in the operating system field, demonstrating the powerful strength and unlimited potential of Chinese tech enterprises in innovation, impact and future outlook. These two major breakthroughs by Huawei like heavy bombs stirring up huge waves in the deep sea of technology, have significance far beyond technology itself, becoming an important turning point in the transformation of the global tech landscape. From an industry perspective, programming languages and operating systems, as the universal language and central nervous system of the digital world, have long been protected by technical barriers built by European and American giants. Taking programming languages as an example, mainstream languages like Java and Python firmly occupy a dominant position in the developer ecosystem. In the operating system field, Windows, iOS, and Android have formed a nearly monopolistic market structure. Huawei's breakthrough this time not only launched a self-developed programming language adaptable to multiple scenarios but also created an all-scenario distributed operating system completely breaking the decades-long technological hegemony of European and American companies and injecting new competitive vitality into the global tech industry. This competition is no longer a simple functional iteration but an innovation of underlying architecture, forcing global tech companies to re-examine the importance of basic technology research and development, increasing investment in core technology areas, and pushing the industry into a deeper era of technological competition. For China's tech industry, these two breakthroughs are landmark leaps. In the past, Chinese enterprises in the global tech industry chain were mostly engaged in mid-to-low-end manufacturing and application development, long constrained by others in basic technology fields. 
Huawei's successful breakthrough allows China to have independent and controllable technological solutions in the two choke point key areas of programming languages and operating systems, greatly enhancing China's voice in global technology rulemaking. This is not only a display of technological strength but also a shot in the arm for domestic tech enterprises. It proves to all Chinese enterprises that as long as they dare to invest and innovate, they can achieve breakthroughs in basic technology fields. It is expected that more domestic enterprises will participate in the wave of independent innovation in the future, accelerating R&D in key areas such as chip design and basic algorithms, promoting China's tech industry to shift from following to leading, and steadily moving towards the high-end position of the global tech industry chain. From a national strategic perspective, Huawei's technological breakthroughs have profound strategic significance. At a time when global technological competition is intensifying, choke point crises such as chip supply cuts and operating system blockades are frequent. Self-controllable core technologies have become key bargaining chips in major power competition. The birth of Huawei's Tsangjie programming language fills the gap of domestic programming languages in system-level development. Its all-scenario programming framework achieves seamless from underlying instruction sets to upper-layer applications, building an autonomous and controllable digital ecosystem foundation. Harmony OS, with its distributed architecture, breaks device boundaries and significantly enhances system security through a microkernel design. After deployment in critical areas such as finance and government affairs, it effectively resists overseas cyber attacks and reduces data leakage risks. According to statistics from the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, intelligent devices equipped with Harmony OS have exceeded 700 million units, and the localization rate has increased to 65 percent, successfully reducing China's technological dependence in the information industry by 32 percentage points, providing strong support for building a national technological security defense line. This shift from following to leading not only strengthens the foundation of national digital economic development but also reshapes China's voice in international technological competition. Looking ahead, Huawei is expected to further expand its global market with these two core technologies, achieving greater breakthroughs in intelligent terminals, IoT, artificial intelligence, and many other fields. At the same time, we also look forward to more Chinese tech enterprises, like Huawei, daring to innovate and shining brightly on the global tech stage, contributing more Chinese wisdom and strength to promoting global technological development and building a community with a shared future for mankind. Let's applaud Huawei and cheer for Chinese technology. If you have any thoughts on Huawei's two technological breakthroughs, feel free to leave a comment and discuss, and don't forget to like and share.